Hello, Rana Vazane <laughs> and Randall Monk here. That's me. <laughs> that's him. No, that's me. Oh, that's you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's on first? <laughs> yeah. Right. And we're here with another gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. This comes from the March 2021 message. There is great concern that the devastation around the world is accelerating. We acknowledge that this is true and it will continue for some time as the earth releases the negative patterns and constrictive energies. For your mother earth must endeavor to repair the damage that has been done to the planet over the eons of time through humanity's negative thoughts and actions. It's a really big step for most people to realize or to take take it as a truth that our earth is a living entity they see it as just a big round ball with a lot of rocks and dirt and water and so on everything in creation has life energy and god essence and so it is our host planet it is our mother earth and we have treated it deplorably and, you know, the rule is moderation in all things. That's a good rule to follow. Middle of the path, moderation in all things. And so we're to the point where we think that we can use as much, we can do as much, we, it's, uh, that it's never ending and never supplying. And the come up and this is really upon us. The water, the land, the air, uh, we are destroying ourselves. Um, we, we've talked about how the beloved Jesus came to help us, from, keep us from sinking any deeper so that we didn't destroy ourselves. But if now that the energy is coming in, the earth is going to ascend. She is going to clean and reclaim herself. She has more determination than we will ever have. And she is going to ascend, transform, and reclaim her beauty her harmony and her balance with or without us. That's a fact. And so it's really time to listen up and to begin to, first of all, the gratitude, to appreciate. If you don't, if, if there are so many things out there that you do not, you want and so on, begin with being grateful for what you do have. And stop, you know, stop and give thanks for the beautiful blue skies, for the wonderful days, for the wonderful summers, the snow. When, when we don't get the water, when we don't get the when we don't get the sunshine, we moan and groan. How many days do you give thanks for all the beauty that we do have and the wonderful forest? We just we just abuse, use, and walk on by. And so it is time to take stock of what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you really trying to save water, to save resources and so on? Everything begins with each of us. And as you know, we've talked about the Davy Kingdom, the elements. They are the ones that are supposed to repair all, uh, balance and harmonize all the negativity we send out there. They are overworked. That's in it. And more and more you see how like the polar, the polar uh, storms that are coming back east and the heavy rains, the what they call atmospheric rivers. All of this is part of the extreme weather that we're getting that has to be rectified. And so, as not only are you benefiting yourself, you begin as you bring in more of this power, this love, this vision of what you want as your perfect world, the more you begin to add to that puzzle, your puzzle piece, or your dream to that bigger dream of what the earth's going to be like, what humanity, can you envision humanity, kind and gentle, sharing, loving, unconditional, unconditional love? Can you imagine the earth pristine and beautiful again, with everybody honoring and sharing and loving and appreciating. That's what we've got to work for, but we've got to get the vision there first, and we have to change our mindsets. The earth is going to change, whether you believe 
in the warming, global warming, whether you believe the science, it doesn't matter. Get to the bases, look around you. What does your neighborhood look like? What does your home look like? What does your yard look like? It's kind of a sign of your mindset and your org field, I'm sorry. It's what you, what's what you settle for. What are you gonna settle for? We are claiming beauty, harmony, balance, and a beautiful world and a beautiful divine blueprint that fits everyone. And so, yes, these storms, that people can work with. Send love to the David kingdom. Use the violet flame, send it down into the earth. That's the only, that's the only ray that comes in from the crown and also comes up from the great uh, sentient crystals down in the earth. And so become a bearer of that wonderful violet flame. Every day, send it out. Begin to see it come out in concentric circles around you and around your home. Things will begin to change, it's magic. Because it clears, it harmonizes, it makes people, it makes you want to be better, it makes you want to do more. It clears the distortion, it clears the confusion, it clears, it'll clear the sadness, the depression. If you allow it and you listen, those are the gifts that are waiting for us. Yes, the changes are upon us, and Michael said, there's no doubt about it. They're here to stay for a while, and they may or may not get worse depending on how humanity acts and interacts with it. It's as simple as that. It's not being done to us. It's not being done to us. We created it. Now we've got to change it. So let's each of us do our part. Start with yourself. Clear your own personal house your own personal vessel and your home. Treat your, treat your family and people as kindly and lovingly as you can. It's not easy these times, but you are muddying up your own field every time you get jumbled, angry, and so on. Don't beat yourself up, but just be aware of it and try. Gratitude, try and rise above things. Try and express kindness and gentleness first to yourself and then to everyone else. And be grateful to our Mother Earth. We need her, and we need you. We sure do need her, because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. <laughs> I'll run a mention the violet flame. I highly recommend using that before you go to bed at night as well. Either lying in bed or before you go to bed, just incorporate that violet flame to cleanse any discordant energies you may have transmitted throughout the day. I do that daily. I do too. It's a, it's a wonderful practice and uh, allow it to then move out and, and run a said like concentric circles to your neighborhood or where, however far you want to take that. Well, um, well, if you have any experiences that you've had with the Violet Flame, feel free to share sure. them below yeah. in the comment section. Okay. And uh, we send much love and many blessings from our heart to yours. And we'll see you next time. Love you. Bye for now. Bye.